Ooh. Let them do that. Uh, 26 shots France had in total, just the two goals. So uh, Austria not able to register a single shot on target. Uh, for more on this game, let's welcome in showing Mario Malco to with us, as is uh, Frank LeBeuf. Frank, this was comfortable, really, from your boys, wasn't it? Yeah, and uh, it's nice in the middle of uh, a big... Uh, well, big, big problems, you know, coming from uh, the, the Federation and, uh, and all around, you know, what's going on with the national team. So it was uh, refreshing to see a little bit of football and uh, I would say good football against, I, was, uh, I have to admit, not a very fantastic Austrian team, but they did the job. Uh, they were entertaining, but again, it seems to be a curse that I think we, we can count of uh, 11 players in Jad. Mm. Uh, players should be on the field, but uh, but the players were there, did the job for Fana, Chouamini, and of course Giroud uh, with another goal and uh, and the big star Mbappe. Uh, well, let's talk a little more about Kylian Mbappe. Of course, made headlines this week for not appearing at a sponsored event. Of course, part of the French national team being called up. You have to go and do these sponsors' pictures. It's an agreement between the players and the federation. He. Apparently, Frank launched a complaint in March about this. He didn't want to be associated with some of the products that were sponsored, uh, that sponsored France. He then refused to do the photo shoot on Monday. There was a big meeting on Tuesday. Then he went ahead with it. I'm just wondering, just from your point of view, of course, has been through all of this, what do you make of Mbappe's decision and the way he went about expressing it? Well, I understand what he wanted to do. And uh, it's, a, it's a convention between the players and, uh, and the French Federation. Uh, which appeared in 2010, I think. So I wasn't, I never been involved with that because I, I already, I was already retired uh, uh, from the French national team. But uh, we, we had some time, you know, picture that we had to take. Not all the players, but some of the players. And something wasn't very clear. I was said, uh, and I've, I've been told. And uh, I think the the Mbappe clan wanted to clarify that and to change it which is normal because it's not, it wasn't really legal from the French Federation. So the French Federation changed everything, I think, uh, accepted um, Mbappe's demand and uh, everything seems to be clear. At least one thing is clear now and, uh, and we'll know next, uh, next time there are pictures that if, to, well, we'll know if Mbappe is happy and if he comes uh, and comes and show up to, uh, to do the pictures. Why is it Mbappe that's leading this? Why isn't it, the, why is it Hugo Lloris, your, your, your captain? Why, why does it take Mbappe to make a stand against this? That I don't know. The only thing I know is that he doesn't get that money. He gives to uh, charities. It's why maybe he felt, free, he felt free to talk, while maybe the others, they, they get the money and don't talk about it. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's more, let's say, a clan decision. His father, his mother, lawyers, agents, managers, you know, it's a big firm. And uh, Mbappe, I guess, doesn't decide for everything but i think it uh, it's just to make the point that uh, that you have to resolve something somebody is a leader and abape is one of them um, and, uh, and and he, and he talked and uh, he was right in the case that he was defending he was right to to dispute uh, the the french federation and to make sure they they clarify the situation and they they make it legal how are the fans dealt with all of this frank where does he stand uh, in their regard at the moment? Well, he's a, he's, a, he's a legend already. People love him. People who don't really know football don't really care what they see. And they're going to only see tomorrow is that Mbappe scored again. That's the only thing matters to them. <laughs> uh, for, let's say, the others, the specialists, it would be, it's more that... Mbappe being too selfish on the field, Mbappe being too much involved outside of the, of the field. It's not what I think. Uh, it, it's, it's what I think for the first part where, especially for PSG, sometimes he has to see around what's going on and he, you can get bigger uh, sharing goals with, and assisting goals uh, to others for like Neymar and, uh, and, and Messi in the last game that he played. Uh, but otherwise, I think he's a guy who knows his status, he knows what he has to do, and uh, people will like him, will like him even more, because it, we feel that he's really involved uh, to make sure that football in France will uh, evolve and, uh, and, and be better. For the others, people will think he's, uh, he's, uh, he's too young to talk, let's say, uh, they will keep on criticizing him, uh, which I think 
that's clearly a French aspect of our culture. <laughs> when we have somebody without the top, we definitely have to make sure it goes down because we don't like it. That's part of en <laughs> envious, jealousy, whatever we want to call it. I love the guy and I want to defend him. Uh, Mario, you're nodding away. Yeah, because what Frank actually said at last part, yeah, it's so crucial because in Holland it's identical. You know, as soon as you lead the way, they want to chop your head off. And sometimes I feel like in, in France, it's the same what's happening to him. Look, if, if someone would ask me, would I prefer Mbappe to do it before the game was on? Oh, yeah, of course. But clearly, he did. He couldn't do it because they didn't respond to him. So that's why he did it, why it was during the game. But away from that, why would a player not stand up and question whatever is happening, what was the past, and he wanted to have it renewed? I'm not saying like, you know, like, oh, I've been in the situation, I know exactly what's going on. No, I don't know what's going on. But it's clearly, no, I agree with that. Sometimes you can question it eh, if you don't agree with it. And he, that's what he's doing because the rest wasn't doing it. I Listen, I, I understand. And I, I sympathise with, with Mbappe and, and him taking the lead. If you have an agreement with the French Federation to at least address this back in March and nothing is done up until now, mm -hmm. then you're absolutely right to, to use this opportunity right before an international game to, to make that point. As players, especially when it comes to, to national associations, you have a really small window to make an impact because you don't get together so often. So right before international games, absolutely is, 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 the, right, is the right time. And now, let, let me just state this disclaimer straight off the top. I don't fully understand players' rights uh, and the image rights um, issue that, that has become so prominent in, in today's game. So my understanding of it from back in our day is if you have three or more players, then those rights belong to the Federation. If it's any less, then it's, it's, it's the players who, who have control of those image rights. Now, the concern here for me, and, and while, again, I, I fully sympathize with Mbappe and who he is aligned with, or who, in this instance, French football, or what companies uh, they, they are aligned with. And the, the concern for me is that as you go further, that you find mm -hmm. yourself in this position where you have to contradict yourself. Right. Where all the good that you are trying to do ends up just feeling a little bit empty. Now, for argument's sake, Kylian Mbappe wears Nike. Let's say that... France go on and win the World Cup, and now as, as part of, of that World Cup winning team, you are, you are part of commercials for Adidas, for McDonald's, for Budweiser, who are all major sponsors of, of FIFA. Mm -hmm. Now, you are making this stand against companies, against products with France, but then you win the World Cup and you have to be subject to being a part of those campaigns. And that's where the contradiction might, might come back to, to haunt him. Now, I, again, I say that without fully understanding it because it just wasn't a thing in our day. But you've seen this happen time and time again, even back from our day, when you had so many beer sponsors uh, in English football and you had players coming out and speaking out about where, where they were gambling or beer or whatever, mm. but then they had the emblems blazed across the, the front of their club shirts. And, and that, for me, is, is where it always gets a little bit tricky. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.